Uh, Vita, you suck so much, you know that? Why are you such a pain in the ass to fucking work with? On top of trying to record simple footage, fuck you too, NIS. On top of trying to record proper footage for this thing, I have to really, like, just work my ass off and try to record this properly. Ugh. It is working now, right? Hold on. Let me check real quickly. There is no blackout? No, nothing at all? Okay. Stable? Alright then. Um... So, uh... Oh yeah, we're starting. Right. Hey there, guys, this is Big Three and Three here with the continuation of Trigger Happy 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 Happy! Uh, today, we are... What chapter are we doing? I think it's this one. I guess this was like a different chapter in case my other save file fucks up or something. So let's load this save file. And I got that Let's Play done with, so that's fine. Extras, what the hell? All kinds of extra shit. Our work gallery. This is like all the images we've seen before. Unfortunately, we don't have shit like that, okay? So that's not gonna work. Alright, so let's just continue on to the game. So we're in the class trial prep. I really need to organize my, uh, finished preparations. Yeah, open E hand, babe, just to, just so I could, uh, figure out what's going on. So, we're trying to solve the murder of that blue-haired chick that I forgot her name. Um, victim was Sayaka Maizano. The time of death was estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. The death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death, oh, excuse me was a stab wound to the abdomen, and her right wrist appears to have been fractured. Alright. Um, right hand, right hand to be fractured. I'm not sure what exactly that has to do with anything, but we'll probably figure that out later. There are a number of scratches and gouges in the bed in the walls of Makoto's room. Rapka sword. Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put it in his room. The sword was found out to be of the sheath of the room in the middle of the room. The sword handle was missing, some of the gold coating as part of the blade. Okay. Oh yeah, and the gold dust was uh, implemented to her body, I think. I replied a short sheath. Makoto took this from the gym entryway and put it into his room. The sheath was found some distance from the sword itself, and it showed evidence of being scratched with a sharp object. On the night of the murder, Makoto and Sayaka traded rooms and room keys. When the victim was discovered, Makoto's room key was also found in Makoto's room. Toolkit. This had been placed in Makoto's room before he arrived. It appear it remains unopened. And there is no evidence of it having ever been used. All the other male students claim that they haven't used theirs either, but still. Very important there. Makoto's room cleaner. Not a single hair was found on the floor of the scene of the crime. In addition, the lint roller shows evidence of it being used. Saika's wrist. Saika's right wrist has been fractured, and her wrist was glittered. This is a right guess, right? It's, bl it's glittered with glow and it's been fractured. In addition, her hands appear to, her hands appear to be clean to be, except the index finger on her left hand, which had some blood on it. I'm not sure if her left finger or her left index finger was, uh, uh, what's my call it, like fractured or like blunted by any means. It might be because she was using her right wrist to use for blood to write the name of, of our culprit, but still, I'm not sure. That there's not really specific here. This one is very suspicious. A series of numbers had been written in blood on Makoto's bath wall, bath, bathroom wall, 11037. It is assumed that Sayaka wrote these numbers while leaning up against the wall as, she's laying uh, as she lay dying. But again, if you uh, reverse the image to make it look... Uh, oh, right, LNR does that, okay. If you make it upside down, it looks like Leon. So that's our culprit right now, so far. Makoto's bath door, bathroom door was difficult to open due to it not quite fitting in the door frame properly. The only two people who knew the trick to opening it were Makoto, the room's owner, and Saika, the victim. Makoto's bathroom doorknob had been broken. The screws holding it in place had all been partially or completely removed. 
The nameplates of the door, Sayaka, and Makoto's room were apparently switched at some point. The kitchen knife and... Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna really, um, skim through this. The knife of the kitchen... I swear that Makoto did not come to the dining hall at any point during... Okay, so we have witnesses' testimony. That's good. There's apparently a trash room within the school. But then again, if that's the case, then who did take the knife? Because if she didn't see me, then who did she see? If she sees no one, then no one's in accountability here. So that d doesn't really help us at all. There's apparently a trash room within the school. The block It's blocked by a sturdy gate and can only be opened with the trash key room key, which is being uh, dutied by a... Fuck that fat guy, who's his name? Whatever, Peter Griffin. <laughs> the incinerator can be used at, be, can be activated via switch on the machine. Hifumi was on clean... Who the fuck is Hifumi again? Oh, the, was he the fat guy? And he claims that the last time he saw the incinerator, it was off. However, when Makoto checked it after the incident, the incinerator was in fact on. The distance from the gate and the incinerator is roughly 30 feet. So someone, I'm assuming, took Hifumi's keys, let's just say Leon in this case, used the uh, gate, the trash room, to destroy his incinerator, to destroy the evidence of whatever. But there is, he, he did leave one noticeable evidence show. And by the way, um, the reason why apparently people, from what people are saying, the reason why um, the blood is pink in this game was so that it doesn't have a higher rating. But that that just seems like a stupid excuse for the reason, be, aside from like stylistic, which is fine, of course. But if that's the reason why they want to keep the thing, the game from being like AO rated, that just a little bit of Red blood is not going to really do much at all because I've seen worse shit before in other M-rated games. I mean, for fuck's sakes, if there's new, like if nudity is allowed in Grand Theft Auto or Witcher, hell, sex scenes included, then I'm pretty sure a, a fucking flopping dick <laughs> included in Outlast and uh, Dante's Inferno. I'm pretty sure red blood is perfectly fine in this game. The game has to really impress me when it comes to its fuckery when, um, if it really wants me to be intrigued by its craziness or whatever. Anyways, a piece of burnt cloth was found next to the incinerator in the trash room. It is apparently part of a shirt cuff and it has noticeable blood stains on it. Now, um, what would really get confusing if it's the blood and pink paint somehow combined into this game. That's gonna get things really confusing, but whatever. We'll not talk about that. Um, Shadow Crystal Ball. Oh yeah, this is by, um, this is, uh, the surfer's dude. What's his name again? Shit. Found person's hand. Apparently, Yasuhiro left in the ball in the laundry room on accident, so anyone could have taken it. Okay. So that's our review evidence so far. Um, and I don't think we need to. Um... Was there any new rules or regulations presented? I could have sworn there was. There's like some sort of classroom rule now. Once a murder takes place, the class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate, and all remaining students will be executed. Okay, so, yeah. So, if you don't get this culprit, then we're fucked. Set skills, what is that? Well, we don't have shit, so... Robot jock. Increase your truth bullet's rate of fire. Effective during the non-stop debate and the bullet time, Battle Final Strike costs 3 SP. What the fuck? This should be interesting. I can only equip 10 at a time, or 10 SP points at a time, but that's fine because we had 2, which only cost 3. So, alright. So, in the next part, we'll be continuing through the class trial, so stay tuned to that, and yeah. Oh my god, I could finally actually check out the HDMI 4. And by the way, um, some of you might be confused, by the way, the, with the way I'm recording. I should re I should actually... Should I put this... You know, fuck it, this is going to be part of the end of whatever the next part is at. So people are wondering um, about the way I record um, PlayStation Vita footage and how much of a pain in the ass it is. Um, and if, if you check out the point five segment, um, I did a test run to see if... Um, Everything should be fine. There's a little bit of input lag, but it shouldn't be affecting my gameplay too much. Um, the reason why um, it has some input lag is... Hold on. A minute. Check this shit out. Uh, is it working? Uh, there we go. So, yeah, you're not seeing... You're, yep, you're seeing that correctly. I'm playing the PlayStation Vita on my Xbox One. 
This is how I'm record. This is how I'm recording the PlayStation Vita footage right now, in case anyone's curious. Because the original way of me recording PlayStation Vita footage was using an HDMI splitter and connecting it straight to the Elgato. However, because of that, the footage you're seeing before was only in 30 frames per second. And not only that, but every time I had to check on the uh, footage, I'm checking on the Elgato screen with my PC. There's always this like black screen for some stupid reason every time I go back to the uh, Vita footage. And because of that, all the files like continuously like fucked and um there's like no sound for a while and it, it's really all terrible and shit and not only that but it processes like shit whenever like i'm done finishing the video so the way i'm recording um vita footage right now is the exact same way i'm recording vita footage on my xbox one except this time i'm using the hdmi splitter as well because the playstation tv of course as you can tell has hdcp which is fucking bullshit so um i'm connect my playstation tv is connected to an hdmi splitter that splitter is connected to my Xbox One, which my Xbox One is connected to the Elgato capture card system. So yeah, it's a confusing fucking mess in or just so that I could record PlayStation Vita footage. So yeah, Vita sucks, <laughs> but at least I could finally record it with some consistency at least in case anyone's curious. So that's that in case anyone of you is curious about how I'm recording Vita footage from now on. And if it works from now on, then this is the proper way of how I'm recording PlayStation Vita footage in 60 frames a second. Still at 720p, of course, but that's not until I get to the um, Elgato 60, which, just to be honest, it's not going to take, it's not going to be until a while, unless I'm, I don't know, maybe next year, but who knows. Anyway, so be right back right now. Stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa.